So the extra navigational buttons on the screen, so we've got down here so we can see the road screen page, so you can click on that one to get to the road mode. We can see the spanner button, so we can click on that one, it takes us through to the setup screen. So we've got two options in here that the user can get to, so we can go on to user setup, it then gives us the options of sprayer setup, which gives us a basic sprayer setup. Controller setup, which gives you the on-screen um, volume, also it gives you the registration code for the display if it does become unregistered. Um, we can also get in there to do the touchscreen calibration and change languages if necessary. The external controller setup is basically for anything GPS-wise coming into the screen or communication going out from the screen, so that's done in there. We've also got Jab database and wireless network in there as well. So going back onto the setup screen, we've also got machine setup. So machine setup is all the things to do with the machine. So we've got the sprayer setup, which is a bit more in depth than the user sprayer setup. We've also got the steering setup, where you can go through to change your steering modes and what speeds they disengage and re-engage. Boom control incline. So if we've got incline rounds on the sprayer, that's where we're going to do that. There's the boom leveling pages and also the adjustable track for adjustable axle. The text setup and the service setup menus, they are password protected um, menus in the screen. So they are protected um, with a monthly code as well as codes to get into the screens as well. So they've got the other options in there to change as well. The information button at the bottom, so we've then got the manuals page in there. So we've got all the operators manuals for the screen. So whether it's an AR or field master built in, there's all the manuals in there. We've then also got videos, so we've got the capabilities of now taking videos and adding them into the TMC, so operators can see that from there. We've also got remote support, so if anybody's got a um, modem attached to their sprayer, like we do have for a few customers, they can then we can access their sprayers remotely from a laptop anywhere in the world, um, as long as we've got their permission to do so. And there's also a calculator in there as well, so just easier than carrying a calculator. The little files page at the bottom of the screen, that just goes through to the job menu. So we've got 1 and 19 to 19 different jobs we can have running in there at any one time. And also if you press zero job on there, it will also tell you exactly how much spraying the machine's done, which you can't reset as well. So that's in that. 